Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bonnet. It is very plain, it is very simple. You will not see any ruffles in this bonnet. However, it absolutely does the job. It's very simple, it is very easy and this is going to cost you under 100 rupees. So, if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. For this tutorial, you're going to need satin fabric, roughly 40 inches by 40 inches. Alternatively, you can use a satin scarf. You'll also need measuring tape or a ruler, a pair of scissors, fabric glue. I'm using Fevicryl. I bought this from Big Basket. I paid 35 rupees for this. If you don't want to use fabric glue, you can use needle and thread. You will also need a drawstring or a nara, some dish or laundry soap. You'll also need clips of some sort, so root clips, tic-tac clips, safety pins, whatever you have at home is perfectly fine. You'll need some sort of clips to just hold the fabric together, as you will see. All right, so let's begin. I'm starting out by measuring my satin scarf and my satin fabric. They're both 40 inches each. Both fabrics are in a square shape. Now, if you have shorter hair or you need your bonnet to be smaller, then by all means, I think you can go as small as 37 inches, but please be a little precise about your measurements. All right, so I'm starting off by folding my satin fabric four times. And I'm just going to take the open sides here and I'm going to use root clips and pin them down. You can very honestly use whatever clips you have at home. If you have fabric clips used for the purposes of stitching, then that's awesome. Otherwise, whatever pins you have lying at home would be totally fine. Then I'm using some dish soap. Make sure that it's a little wet. Placing my finger in it. Now, using the measuring tape like a compass, I'm gonna start making marks with the dish soap on my fabric. This is gonna be my cutting guide. All right, so now I'm just pinning down the other sides of the fabric. This is gonna give the fabric a little weight and it's also gonna hold it in place and keep it secure while I'm cutting. Now start cutting out the shape that you drew with the dish soap. This very honestly does not have to be perfect because all of the seams are going to be hidden anyway. You are not going to see any of the seams. So honestly, please don't finesse. There is no requirement. This does not have to be a perfect circle. Speaking of a perfect circle, anyone a fan? 
If you're not, then check out when the levee breaks. Alright, now getting back to the tutorial. Finesse the edges if you want, but honestly don't feel compelled to make this look smooth and perfect. All of it is going to be hidden at the end anyway. Alright, so here I'm cutting a gash in the fabric on one end. This could be in between one and a half to two inches, depending on how thick you want your hem to be. Now after this, just using some plain water, wash the fabric out so that you don't have any of those soap marks. Alright, now it's time to place the fabric on the ground with the shiny part facing up. Now please note that if you do the opposite, then you're gonna get a ruffled bonnet, However, if you keep the shiny part facing you, that means if the shiny part is upwards, then you'll get a bonnet with hidden seams. This is going to look like a portly. Anyway, since I'm using fabric glue, I do not want any of the seams or the hem to be seen, which is why I'm doing this. This is going to cover up any of the mistakes that you make. So in case you get really messy with your glue and you make some marks on the fabric, then this is going to hide them all. Alright, so now start gluing down the edges of the circle using the fabric glue. Work in sections and don't glue the entire thing down. I think start with like one third of the fabric and I think you should be fine. All right, so now start by creating a hem by bringing the edges of the fabric or the circle inwards. Remember your drawstring or your nara has to go through this seam, so make sure there's enough place inside and fold like you would a dumpling or a momo. Can you see these little ruffles that I'm creating while folding? Alright, so just glue your fabric down. Now you see what I mean by the dumpling fold that I was talking about? Alright, glue down the next one third and repeat the exact same steps. Remember that if you use too much glue at this step, then the entire thing is going to look super duper messy. So make sure you're using a tiny bit of glue and you should be good. However, if you do go overboard, don't worry because the glue becomes translucent when it dries. This is what it should look like. Alright, wait for the fabric to dry for at least 10 minutes and then start applying some pressure to make sure the things are secure and glued down. I'm using a root clip for these purposes. You can use whatever you have. Even a pencil would be totally fine. Now, wait for an hour for the glue to dry down completely. Alright, let me just repeat things here. I have the shiny side facing me, so facing upwards when folding the fabric inwards to create a seam or a hem for my drawstring or my nara to pass through. Let me show you my earlier bonnet that I had stitched using needle and thread where I did the opposite. This gave me the ruffled inside out look, which means that all of the stitches were exposed and you could also see the hem. Okay, so now take your drawstring and attach a safety pin to one edge of it and then put the safety pin into the opening or the gash that you had created. 
run the safety pin through and through and come out the other side of the hem. And will you look at that, your bonnet is ready. The shiny side is inside, the hem is not exposed either. Let me show you my earlier bonnet. I'm gonna put my hair into a pineapple using a scrunchie. As you can see the bonnet is adjustable. You can make it as loose or as tight as you want. This bonnet has ruffles and it has exposed seams. The outer bit is not shiny whereas the exposed hem that you see is shiny and this gives a nice looking contrast. And now let's look at the bonnet that I just made. Here as you can see the hem is not exposed and I did that intentionally because I wanted to hide it. So there you have it, such a simple DIY. No stitching or skill required in its execution. Very honestly anyone can make this. All you need is about a meter of satin fabric, in fact you don't even need a meter, you need less than that. 40 inches length to be precise. You'll get 1 meter of satin fabric for 70 rupees. I picked this up from Newmarket ages ago. And the glue will cost you 35 rupees. I picked it up from Big Basket. With the rest of the fabric, you can make yourself some satin scrunchies. I'm leaving a tutorial that I made on DIY scrunchies up here. Check it out when you're done with this one. Anyway, that was it. Your DIY bonnet is complete. Alright guys, that was it. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more from me, you can follow me on Instagram. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Michelle and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.